Doctor, my name is Todd Grisham. Next to me is Johnny Nelson. I feel like a fraud. How have I got these ringside seats? It's time for our tale of the tape. Alexander Usyk. He's 6'3", with a 78-inch reach. And across the ring from him, Muhammad Ali. He stands six foot three inches tall with a 78 inch reach. Talk about hot seats in the house. I am so lucky to be sat where I am watching this fight live. I can tell my grandkids about this. This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist from Ukraine, an undisputed cruiserweight world champion, and a unified heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander Usyk. Fighting out of the blue corner, here is the Olympic gold medalist and legend of boxing, the only three-time lineal heavyweight champion of the world. He floats like a butterfly and stings like a bee. The one and only, the greatest, Muhammad Ali. So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves, and get prepared for battle. I'm so giddy, so excited. The anticipation is second to none. Let's get it on. Under the bright lights here for this one, really good matchup, and we're hoping for a really good fight. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. He's going to go with more footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? No rest for the weary. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. He's going to loosen things up here. Let's see how he does with this fancy footwork. Counterpuncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. Todd, I understand what you're saying, but you've got to be on this. You've got to be on it. You've got to be a pro. You've got to think right. Concentrate. Halfway through the round, I'm not sure who's winning it. Got to let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Perfect counter lands. There's a counter shot. Looks like they're going to try and be a little more elusive now. Oh, a little rope-a-dope here. Nice counter. Oh, what a punch. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Nice counter punch. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. They ring the bell and here we go. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. This fighter is all about finesse, using a lot of angles and lateral movement. If you want to corner an outside fire, make them fight off the rope because they don't want to do that. They don't want to stand still. They want to move left to right. Pin him down. Throw a blank on him. Looks like he's going to move around the ring a little bit more. Try some stick and move. He's dropped the guard now. What do you think of that decision?
Some real good back and forth between these two fighters. They call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. A beautiful counter shot. Jones Jr. now bouncing on the toes. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. That bell could not have come soon enough for this guy. You know, I've been in fight. And there's the bell to start the round. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Nice counter punch right up the middle. Counter punches have to hurt. Well, you know with featherweights, the hands are going to be flying. A lot of punch output. Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just want to run. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I going to do now? Looks like a little bit of a strategy change here, loosening up the technique. to be careful for that receipt it's always coming cannot throw out a lazy jab in this fight you'll get knocked out that punch scores you don't see a lot of welterweights that can bring you one punch ko power but these two can Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. That punch scores. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. Wow, it's like two different leagues. They ring the bell, and here we go. Off their stools and ready to go. Let's hope this round is more competitive. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. Looking to land the hook. Well, Johnny, you know, in the lightweight division, they've got fast hands, so get ready to see some lightning. Some fighters are just gifted. Gifted with such hand speed, footwork, movement. They are gifted. They are the chosen few. Now I'm going to get a little more loosey-goosey. Let's see how this one feels. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. That punch lands. You couldn't write a script like this. This is like Rocky versus Apollo. Lance. <laughs> nice 
Nice punch. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Alexander Usyk in that last round. From this moment forward, he cannot afford to lose another round. The bell sometimes. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Coming off a very tough round. Let's see what they do here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. What do you think of this fight so far, Johnny? Oh my goodness, what pace, what pace. They're like, do you know what Yorkshire Terriers, Todd? That, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. Nice counter. Looks like a little change of strategy here, trying to loosen up the flow a little bit. And misses with that jab. This fight a little bit closer than I think a lot of people thought. We wanted action, and they are giving us action. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. How about that time counter shot? Well, Johnny, it's still early on, but what do you think about what we're seeing so far? We've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drama, because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to land. Don't worry about the cup. Not so tense anymore. I'm trying to loosen things up. I like it. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. in that last round. You know that bell was sweet music to his ears. Every second, every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. And there's the bell to start the round. After that last round, something has got to change. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. Here he is bouncing on his toes, trying to get some energy. That counter shot lands. Well, Johnny, has anything surprised you here as we enter the final frames of this bout? Work the body, frustrate them, take the mind off the chin, take the mind off protecting everything around that. Work the body, use tactics. Sometimes it's all right to actually outbox a fight and beat them on points. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Tried to score with that hook, but missed. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Overhand left. <laughs> Looks like they're going to mix up their strategy a little bit here. Swing and a miss with that hook. Beautiful counter punch. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance with... And there's the bell to start the round. 
Johnny, can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round for him? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Nice counter shot. There's nothing quite like a big heavyweight fight. Everything can change with one punch. Oh my goodness, so that little Yorkshire Terriers, they're never going to give up. So he's going to drop his arms down here. Not sure that's the wisest decision. Nice counter punch right up the middle. Quick punch scores. wasn't ready for that counter punch. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? Don't get trigger happy, because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot, and that's when he catches. Going to shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. Nice punch. Not so rigid anymore with the stance. And he did catch it. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, it's no secret who has the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. But we're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Here we go with these two lightning quick lightweights. Middleweights always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, in a certain fighter, Mr. And they're down. Would be wise here to take the full eight seconds. And look at that body shot. They couldn't have thrown it any better. That's lights out right there. So this fight will continue, but how can they get back into this bout? He's up, but, but for how long? Look at that. On the heels. But look at it's nothing there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. It just takes one more clear shot. A clean one. And he's out of there. Look at the footwork, the hand speed. This is the best that the middleweight division has to offer. has been his best weapon all fight long. That one lands. Total domination with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. So it's plan B time after being knocked down in that round. Can make or break a fighter.
ring the bell, and here we go. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. In this division, both fighters will constantly be on their toes trying to punch and counterpunch. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? That punch has been his best weapon all fight long. A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Generally speaking, you don't watch heavyweights to see a boxing match. You want to see a fist fight. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get speed, good footwork. You're going to get punches thrown from head to body. You can get a lot of toe to toe. When you've got fighters at these weight division, they'll stand there. They don't, they don't need a ring. They need a phone box. Gonna try and relax a little bit now. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. What would you tell this guy? He's got to do something different. Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're get and there's the bell to start the round. It has been all one-way traffic. How do they turn this around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked in. Make him fight. Your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. And he just misses with that jab. One more of those overhands, and we're going to see some serious trouble. Hey, it's the featherweight division. You're going to see a lot of speed in this fight. It's the one who draws first blood, Todd. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it, but you've got to be confident. Halfway through the round, and there's not a lot separating these two. How many more crosses can they take? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. How about that time counter shot? Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. One punch could change everything in this battle. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Alexander Usyk in that last round. Well, we know they've got the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. These two featherweights are going to let their hands go. You know that.
I've seen it so many times. One punch changes everything. I've seen guys winning hands down. They decide to showboat and show off them. Blam! It's over. But it's got to stay sharp. One punch changes everything. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. Who's going to loosen things up here? Let's see how he does with this fancy footwork. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. One punch changes everything in this division. It's the heavyweights. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. His stamina is off the charts. Continues to touch him up. That stumbling around in potholes, in serious trouble, and they're down. It looks like this one's going to be over. Blink and you miss it. Good thing we can watch that over and over again. Where did that come from? What a shot. Alexander Usyk in that last round. It's not over till it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. They ring the bell, and here we go. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out Fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a. He's got a bluff them. The work rate is down. The head isn't moving as well, Johnny. Fatigue is starting to set in. Look back in the history books. Some of the best fighters in the world were the middleweights. Yes, the glamour division is the heavyweights. We know. But I'm telling you now. You look right there. These guys are on it. Fast, sharp, powerful. But it hurts, and you can imagine that being you. Look the size of an average man. And he misses with that jab. Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. Not so tense anymore, trying to loosen things up. I like it. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Well, you know, in this division, we're going to see a lot of combinations, a lot of counter punching. Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect... What a nightmare scenario! Usyk couldn't take anymore, and down he goes! And that body shot folded him like an old t-shirt. I've got to see that again. Well, there's no argument right there. Now, you say it, night-night. 